Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dragon Age Origins. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today in the Tapsir's Tavern as we talk to this fellow over here. What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. All the rest of whom? Power-hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. Is that who Branca is? She's the paragon? City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. What's it matter to you, huh? Huh. <laughs> you trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He looking to take it for himself? A little lost technology of the ancients to throw Balin right out of the picture? Hmm, what are you talking about? What technology? You are looking for it. Of course, that's all anyone cares about. Well, sawed off and sawed your mother, too. I need a bleeding drink. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. There is a lot of smoke in here. I was gonna say, I don't really know why. There is much to do. Why it is here. But uh, I'll just go ahead and do that Let's stuff do. right there. You can do these two as well. And everybody's very happy. Sod off, Duster. Duster. Don't don't make me talk about that, Ogren. I'll talk to you later, I suppose. And over here we have Dulin. That he's the he's the speaker of the, to the Haramuts. Trasvala champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. Eh. I must thank you for bringing both Vizel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to I see didn't. his old friends stand for him. He didn't there can either. no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Haramont will see you now. Uh, I have a few more things to do first. Join me here when you're ready to leave. To leave? I don't think I'll I'll fail any missions here, but uh, I'll just save in case. Are you ready I to do. see his lordship now? Yeah, uh, it would be an honor. Apparently, I can't say the other thing that I was. I don't remember what the uh, first option was. Anyway, the honor is ours to have found such a staunch and upright ally. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. It's really interesting that he mentioned the other dudes fighting beside me when they absolutely did not, because I would have died. And we did. Well, we didn't die because I reloaded. But uh, here we are. I went in there already. His lordship appreciates your support. Well, let's see. Keep going. Let's see how much he appreciates my support after I learn who he really is. Will I learn that? Hello. Yeah, I sort of ruined your mystique, didn't I? You were set up in a way that made you seem all staunch and stoic and whatever. No, I'm looking straight at your face. And I'm even taller than you, even though I'm an elf. I appreciate what you have done. Lord. Dang it. And I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrell Harrowmont, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. It's not lost on me that he turned his head before he turned his body. Which is the way you do it, cinematically speaking. Uh, but you look like a fool if you do that in real life. Uh, but of course, it's not real life, so it looked pretty cool. Uh, I know who you are. I, I came here for other reasons. Let's see. So you're going to give me my troops. All I want is your support against the Blight. Why would Endrin prefer you over his own son? 
not, we sort of know that a little bit, maybe. Uh, Belen says you're trying to usurp his family's rights. I respect him and King Endrin's wishes. Let's let's say that, yeah. Why would Endry uh, or Endrin prefer you over his own son? You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. Endrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Endrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. That's uh, usually how it works, yes. The whole furthering power with the ruling and whatever. Uh, Balin's men say you planted those suspicions. Planted those suspicions? Oh, right. On Endrin's mind, I see. You believe you'd be a better king than Balin? All I want is your support. Yeah, let's ask that one. You believe you'd be a better king than Balin? I have never sought the throne. My role was to serve Endrin, first as his advisor, then as an elected desher in the assembly. A Haramont has never been king, and I always assumed Trian would rule after his father. But both Endrin and my colleagues have asked me to step up, and I will not back down when Orzammar needs me. And your colleagues? Certainly not Belen, didn't ask you to step up. Whose colleagues? Who, or rather, his colleagues, but the point, which colleagues? Just spit out what I need to, <laughs> to do to get you or your help as king. The assembly has more power than the king. Uh, my character can ask. All I want is your... Yeah, let's ask that. The assembly represents the voices of the wisest, most noble families. While we need a single king to preside over important functions and lead us in battle... The assembly better represents all in Orzammar. Hmm, okay. Apparently I just, yeah. All I want is your support against the Blight. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace. So a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? No. Wait. Yep, I don't think I have. The assembly receives pleas every day from the common folk, begging that something be done about her. So far, no one has managed. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town. The raw edges of the city, where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. Sure, I'll deal with Jarvia. Be ready to help against the Blight. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the assembly sends your troops. Look for Javier in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. Also, with any luck, I'll just show up and they'll attack me and it's gonna be fine. So I need to find a way into Jarvia's hideout. Perhaps you'll be able to find some clues in Dust Town. I must confess I didn't expect you back so soon. Oh yeah, because I'm... I've heard nothing of Dust Town. Yes, that is... Did you find Jarvia? I didn't move. Uh, so... No, let me get back I've to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So. I suppose I might have wanted to talk to Doolin there. So we're right now in the Diamond Quarter. Which is kind of far away, but it's not too far away from... Uh, from the Dust Town. I am... I'm just not sure if... I, I don't think I lost any quests. Yeah. So, let's see. Increase understanding of Wards of our society. Uh, there's just some things. Uh, find records of Wards assembly in Ortein Thaig. That would be in the Deep Roads. Thief in the House of Learning. You have recovered the Stolen Tome. You can return it to the Shaper. Uh, that is... Uh, yeah, need to go over there. To the Shaper it. Yeah, that's what I was looking for uh, in the, the hour. 
Lord Harrowmont endorsed by the Honorable Ray Warden. Oh, yeah, they have known about the news of the hour, because I have endorsed. Orzammar questions Lord Harrowmont's ability to win the throne. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, since we're doing quests... Oh, hi. Since we're doing quests, we might as well um, complete the quest that we have already. Harrowmont has suckered the warden, says that person over there. Bellin will not allow it. That's very good job. Very good job by Bellin, then. Okay, uh, I think I'm being projected right now. Yes, okay. So, let's try and do something about that. Is it you? Is it you who did that? You're gonna die. You're gonna die. There you go, and now I do this, and you're dead. Mm-hmm, that serves you right. And then I'll focus on what the heck am I doing here. Okay, that didn't stun very well. Okay. Nice. Will we be okay? I think we will, because we're not really losing health. This is going relatively well. Stan is losing health, unfortunately. But I think Queen is going to be on top of him, no problem whatsoever. Let's just do this. Do this. Nice critical, I think. This guy's very resilient, didn't he? It's taking very little damage. Huh. There we go. Man. These guys are really tough. They're basically the same ones... The same enemies I fought in the arena, so well, I say arena, the proving, uh, so it makes sense that they would be kind of tough. They don't really have very good potions, though. Their potions suck. Mm. Not that I don't mind, or not that I mind having lesser healing potions. I do enjoy that, and with any luck, we'll hear the the shout that uh, that I heard off camera last episode about how somebody was suspected of of kicking. The castless, so you'll be able to hear it with your own ears. Well, I guess you'll see it on camera anyway. Uh, there's a cataloger over here. Did I talk to you before? Perhaps you should stand over there instead. I should. I should. You found it. I did. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. That's uh, very kind of you to say, I suppose. Ah, oh, you return, Warden. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? No, no. Your no, no. My presence and... yeah. So... Orta... I don't think I need to talk to anybody over here. I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever... Oh yeah, back. that's gonna take a little while. Did you find any records? What? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's gonna take a little, a little bit... a little bit to do that. Let's look at our... Quest then, uh, let's see, Orta's thing, return to Zerlinda with the good news. Zerlinda is in the dust quarters, which is good. Find Filda's son, but that would be in the deep roads as well. Okay, so that's pretty good, because we have only two missions, and both of them are in the dust quarters. I say dust quarters, I'm not really sure if that's how it's called. Uh, they are, however, in the other side of town, so fast travel, engage. It seems we have been waylaid by enemies and must defend ourselves. <laughs> Uh, well, this is gonna be a more difficult fight than the other one, isn't it? Okay, let's do this one. Uh, that is a stun, hopefully. You move a little bit, you don't. Okay, let's try this one then. Be quick about it, be quick about it, thank you. Let's do that one, and let's get Win to work. So, we have a fanatic back there. I don't like him. So, let's go ahead and do this. Bit of a petrify, bit of a stone shape thingy. He resisted all the things that is bad. Um, okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Ah, backstabs for everybody. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, who else needs a little bit of love? You need a little bit of love. Come here. There we go. I'll activate this. Yeah, be quick about it. Yeah, because that's going to do damage to him. But boy, man, that is a lot of... Holy crap. Um, coating the edges of the deadly taint of the deadly... Uh, bonus damage determined by the cunning attribute, but my god, that is a lot of damage that he does. I really didn't think it was that much. The difference is astonishing. It's like twice the damage easily. And as long as he doesn't get uh, get kill cameras, we're gonna be good. Uh, Wing seems to have died. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, just a little bit of an issue. Would you kindly... Excuse me. 
There we go. It is enough. Uh, well, yeah, sort of. Ween, how are you feeling okay? What do you have? A uh, cracked skull. Ah, that's fine. You don't mind that, do you? Yes, I know. It's cracked skull and all. You're very, yes. very good. Uh, let's see. Greater health potion. These guys are good sources of potions. And it's a good thing... Oh, novice. Yeah, I don't need that. It's a good thing I... Um... um what's the... What's, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. It's a good thing that I don't use my injury kits. Uh, so even the injury that she sustained basically means nothing. Because, well, I wouldn't mind to have it. And I don't mind having it. But more to the point... I can uh, I can he heal it easily because I have so many injury kits. Hazer Linda, good news. You're back. Yes. I thought you weren't coming. What did he say? Well, I say good news. It's not necessarily good news. Um, because he's a jerk still. Your your father wants you both to come home. Both of us? I don't believe he said that. I've never heard him refer to my son as anything but trash. He calls him it. I know. But maybe. Yeah. Maybe mother convinced him. I did. You did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my friend. I cannot thank you enough. Uh... If this were a story, my son would grow to manhood and pledge himself as a knight in your service. When he grows up, I will send him to you. I promise. Don't do that. Make sure he grows up, though. That's a pretty important part. And if you can kill your father, uh, or if you need me to, I suppose... Uh, that, that works too. Okay, so where are we... Oh, that's right. There was a house in here that we didn't really understand why it existed in the first place. So it must be that house. Is it? Dang it. It's not. So we are looking for clues about Jezebel or whatever. I don't remember her name. Or their name. I don't know if it was a man or woman. Because I... I think the name was sort of... Oh, Idle Dwarf. Uh, I talked to you before. Yes? Why is someone like you hanging about Dust Town so much? No. 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 It's just no. We got a beggar. We have more beggars. We have beggar. Hmm. Ramble, ramble about things that I rambled about. Hmm. No, no. Curious. Uh, so, I need this. Lord Harriment wants you to put a stop to Jarvia and her criminal, Carta. Uh, no one knows where Jarvia's hideout is, but you should be able to find clues to uh, her... It's a woman, yeah. Her whereabouts in Dust Town. Okay. And it is indeed Dust Town. Let's just talk to you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. No, it's fine. Uh, can I ask some questions about the Carta? Stay away from me. I don't know nothing about it. Can I not stay away from you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get in your way. I can not stay, stay away from you. Do you know where I can find Jarvia's base? No. Don't make me go back there. Don't let them get me again. I'm sorry. I need to I'm insist. Sorry. I didn't mean to get in your way. Well, I guess get out of my way, exclamation mark, wouldn't really help in that situation. And for all I know, she'd attack me. Halimar! You're back. You got more business for me? Uh, what do you know about Jarvia? Enough to know she don't fancy strangers asking questions. Why is everyone so scared of Jarvia? Her base goes everywhere in Orzammar. You cross her or even talk bad, your bones end up in the lava. That's not lava. That's melted cheese. I've talked about it. Why would... Would you know more if uh, the question came with silver? Not gold, mind you. Could be if 30 silver came my way. Oh, yeah. I might know a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, here's 20. If you like, if I like your information, you may get more. Fine. Only Jarvia's men knew all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. They go up to what look like bare walls and poof. Gone. Like there's a secret door. There's one just across the way. Watch long enough and you'll see. Now you owe me 30 silver. Sure, here you are. Pleasure doing business. Now you want to buy something? Or are we done? Mm, no. That's what I thought. That's not what you thought. Also, I got an achievement called Menacing. And I only lost copper, as far as I can tell. Did I? I, I don't understand anything. Um, 
entering Java's, not Java's, Jarvia's hideout. Uh, so the doors are hidden, but Jarvia's men come and go freely. Continue searching the dust town for her men and means to use the, the door. Uh, well, the means to use the door... Shine your shoes. ...should be very simple. Because this game doesn't like close quarters. So we should be able to I, tell. I didn't do it, sir. I swear. You, did, you didn't do what? Oh, right. You're one of those people. Can I ask you some questions about the cartel? No questions. Okay, how about... Do, it, sir. do you I know swear. Jarvia's base? Asking questions like that and you'll get dragged in soon enough. Is that a threat? Because I can try I to... I didn't do it, sir. Keep asking. Oh, I can't. He won't help me. Okay, how about you, sir? Spare a coin? Two bits for the needy? Can I ask you some questions about the carta? What are you trying to do? Kill me? Hmm. Spare a coin? Keep asking questions. My god. I will keep asking no questions. One, no one, don't look at me. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. I think this voice actress shows up in Pills of Eternity. The first one, not the second one, unfortunately. Because she's the voice of the warden, but as well as the voice of a couple more characters. Uh, she has a very, specific, a very peculiar voice that I re recognize easily. Also because she's very important. Her characters are very important in the in the first Pills of Eternity. Uh, what will you give me in exchange? What are you looking for? Do you know a woman named Jarvia? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the carta not more than a year ago. And already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Where could I find her? Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. So where do I find one of those tokens? Can't help you there, Selraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. But... That's worth something, right? Maybe just a little. Oh, yeah. Here's five for the road. Wait, I can choose. Right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll give you ten silver. Because that, cause that's fair. I gave thirty to the other dude. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. And he's just going to spend it on booze, the other one is. Or whatever. Um, so, we're closer. Yeah, I, that's definitely that voice actress, and I just don't know her name, because surprisingly enough, Pillars of Eternity 1 has, and Tyranny for that matter, uh, the voice actors are not listed, or the characters rather, the voice actors are listed, but you, it's up to you to figure out who the heck they, they play, um, and so it is pretty difficult for me to, to know. Hey there, stranger. Six bits for a tumble, two silvers if you all want to go at once. Wow, that is some cheap labor right there. Do you know where I can find Jarvia's base? It's everywhere. That's the problem. There's nowhere she can't see you. Okay, I would like more details. Hey there, stranger. I, I weren't talking to you. Hear me? We weren't talking. Okay. Well, I guess I can't... We, not, we can't even... We can't even uh, accept the proposition of the tumble. Well, I, look hi. what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. I found it before. Oh, this is a lot. See, I told you. I told you it was going to be easy. Excuse me, sir. You must be killed in... Uh... There we go. Now, that one. Let's get you. So, are you being attacked? I'm going to say you are. Let's try to petrify him. Okay, he's stunned. I'm not really sure if that works as a petrify. That does work as a petrify. So you're going to attack that guy, go for it. Okay, and I'm going to be stabbing you over here. Nice. And proper. A little bit. Okay, he turned. Off. Okay, he's stunning me, and I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to need a heroic defense in here for sure. Oh, he turned his back. He's an idiot. Well, that's because... Shale is shouting on him. Okay. And don't kill me, uh, sunny ancestors. What do they teach you on the surface? 
<laughs> you fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all. The stone? What? Tell me how to find Jarvia or join them. Or you join them. The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? I don't, I don't have any information to... I can't ask you what you're going to do. I can't ask you what your line of work is. If you have family. If you like the same kind of games that I like. It's a decision. A binary decision. No, I won't let you. You tried to kill me. Shut up. No! Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the easiest kill. He was sort of dead already. But uh, these guys had nothing to do with it. And they're still going to die. Yay! There we go. Goodbye, Goodbye indeed. I really would have liked... Oh, he's turned. There we go. I really would have liked to get to know him a little bit more. Just to ask him a little, a few more questions. Or he could have said them without... You know, he could have told me, like... Ah, you're even tougher than that old lady that I killed the other day over... Uh, pr the, the, the Over... Whatever. Something horrible. Or... Oh, I know. No, I'm not used to fighting. I'm... I like cats instead. Or something, you know, you know what I mean? Give him some, some, um, characterization, I suppose. Is that the word? I think it is. So I could, you know, that, so the binary choice makes some sense. Otherwise, it's just, what do I have to go on? Uh, yes, I'll kill you. I kill everybody. Have you seen the people that I've killed to get to you? <laughs> anyway, that's going to be that for today because we're out of time. I don't know where the, the door is, but we'll find it. Uh, so for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dragon Age Origins. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.